Jay, Seven Star Bricks, coming at you with the last of the May 2023 sets that we got. Set 75348, the Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus TIE Interceptor. 957 pieces. Look at that. Comes with the Mandalorian, Mandalorian Fleet Commander, a TIE Fighter Pilot, and R2E6. Check out the Mandalorian Fleet Commander, which I believe is Axe. I don't know why, maybe they didn't have his name when they made the set. Nothing but Lego tick -a -tick -a -tick -a on this side. Got the Star Wars logo, Griebling, and the truncated picture of the set on this side. And we've got the set picture on the back. Some features of the TIE Fighter. What's that? Oh, it's a new Darksaber. Sweet. TIE Interceptor. Mandalorian Fang Fighter, which I can tell I'm not going to like already because it doesn't have the twisty wings. All right, guys. Let's build this thing. Even at $100, we're getting crappy push tabs. And at the $100 price point, they still don't care if your instruction manuals get wrinkled. And apparently there are two in this set. One for the TIE Interceptor, one for the Mandalorian Fang Fighter. So we've got Din Djarin accompanying us on our journey to build the Fang Fighter. Do we get a second character for the TIE Interceptor? Yeah, we got the little TIE pilot for the TIE Interceptor. That's kind of cool. They put a different character in each book. All right, let's do it. All right, let's start off with the TIE pilot here. This is a very cool looking TIE pilot. Printing on the front of the legs and the torso. He's got this little TIE fighter pilot blaster there. Still the same terrible helmet design on the back that exposes the back of their head. I wish they would fix that. Do got some printing on the back of the figure there. It's a pretty cool TIE fighter pilot. And they've chosen to make this one a woman with a grouchy face. And of course, no second face because the back of the helmet exposes the back of her head. Next up, we've got R2E6. He's an Imperial droid. He's pretty cool looking on the front here. Basically a black R2D2 figure. No printing on the back of the body, but printing all the way around on the head. That's a pretty cool droid. Next up, we've got what this set calls Mandalorian Fleet Commander. But I think it's pretty apparent that this is Axe Woves. I think they just didn't know the name of the character when they did this set. The, uh, the jet pack is just one solid silver molded color. It should be blue and silver from the show. And you've got printing on the legs in the front there. You've got a pretty cool looking Mandalorian helmet. It's got a Mandalorian blaster. Axe does have two faces. He's got one with a raised eyebrow, which I kind of like. I think that's pretty cool. And then he's got a winning face on the back there. And Axe actually comes with hair in the set too. So you could take his helmet off and show his hair because he's not one of the children of the watch, so he doesn't mind taking his helmet off. Cool. Next up, we have the Mandalorian Din Djarin. Uh, I swear, they're gonna keep tweaking this figure. It, it's, this one's slightly different from the one we got with the armor and the uh, Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter sets again. The body is the same. So you've got the same printing on the arms, which is awesome the torso, the legs, the back. You've got his jetpack on this one. He does not come with his little cloak. He does come with the new and improved dark saber blade. Well done, Lego. You actually managed to make something that actually looks like a dark saber. And he does have a slightly different helmet print. He's got a fuzz on him. Why has he got a fuzz on him? So you can see on this helmet, 
on the very front, there is a printing in the middle of the helmet here. This last version does not have that. You can also see how terrible the last version of the Darksaber is compared to the new version of the Darksaber. <laughs> I mean, it's not even comparable. They just gave him a black stick. That was pretty bad. So the new, new blade, much, much better. And now we come to the sort of disappointing part of this set. We've got the Mandalorian Fang Fighter here in all of its white and gray glory here. It does look pretty decent taken just as this Lego set. However, when you look at Star Wars Rebels or the Mandalorian and look at this fighter, the first thing that's going to hop out is that this is the same as the larger Mandalorian ship and that these wings should pivot around the main body of the ship like the last Lego set did. And it does not. They chose to build it just one flat plate. Nothing moves on it. It's slightly undersized for minifigure scale. It does have some cool detailing on it. I like that the cockpit is printed. That's pretty cool. I like the way they did the cockpit with the yoke there. And you've got the printed instrument panel here. The guns look okay. The engines look pretty cool in the back. There's not really much on this. You've got a couple of Lego shooters on the bottom, but it's other than that, it's just flat plates. But yeah, that's my only complaint in a hundred dollar set. I understand we've already gotten 957 pieces in this set, but I don't think it would have taken too many pieces to make this like the other Mandalorian fighter ship and be able to have the, the wings turn around the body. And that's what it looks like with Axe in the cockpit there. And we can close that. You can see what it looks like. And then we come to the amazing part of this set. It is the TIE Interceptor. This TIE Interceptor is minifigure scale. And it looks really cool. Check this thing out. You've got the twin ion engines on the back. The TIE Fighter cockpit. The wings on there, the blasters on the end of the wings. We get in a little closer, you can see there's some stuff in the cockpit to look at here. If we flip this down and see, we've got some red control panels in there. The top of this also flips up. You could stick a minifigure in there. So we've got the TIE fighter pilot in there now. That's what it looks like with the cockpit all closed up. You can't really see them, which is why I don't usually put the TIE fighter pilots in there. It's impossible to see them. That is super cool. I kind of wish for this set that they had not bundled these ships together. I wish they were separate ships. They could have done the Fang Fighter a little better for like a $50 set. They could have done this for a $50 set. Split the minifigures between them. It would have been awesome because I would definitely buy more than one of these TIE Fighters if it wasn't in a $100 set. And for comparison, here is the perfect minifigure scale TIE Fighter from the Brick Vault site. Check that out. Same size. Got a, a little bit of different building techniques on the Mach 1 versus the Lego one, but they are the exact same size, wings and all. The Mach just rests at a different angle. I can't push it forward or pieces will fall off. And that's the problem with the Mach is it's way more fragile than the Lego version. And it fell forward and I'm going to have to repair something. But there you go. Just a comparison with a, a TIE Interceptor that was built to be a perfect minifigure scale. This is the exact same scale and size. So that's awesome. Well done, Lego, on that TIE Interceptor. That's awesome. 
How is it that I have so many TIE Fighters? What's going on here? And that is the Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus the TIE Interceptor. That's a really cool set. It's $100 US. Like I said, I, I wish that they had packaged them separately for two $50 ships and they could have made the Fang Fighter a little bit better, but that, that is an incredible TIE Interceptor. Well done with that Lego. I say that that makes the set worth the price of purchase. That and the Darksaber. Although the Darksaber, keep in mind, if all you want is a Mando with a correct Darksaber, there is another set that's going to be cheaper coming out in the fall uh, with the little robot that attacks him on Mandalore. So if that's all you want is the Darksaber, don't spend $100 just to get it. But if you want an awesome minifigure scale TIE Interceptor, this is definitely your set. Uh, you could wait for a sale, but... Like I said, I think it's worth the price of admission on this one, even with the slightly chintzy Mandalorian Fang Fighter. There you go. That's my opinion. Once again, my name is Jay. This is Seven Star Bricks. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. Leave a comment down below. It'll help the channel out with a terrible YouTube algorithm. And consider subscribing to us on Patreon. It will help the channel out immensely and allow us to bring you more reviews like this. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you here next time.